Hey guys, my name is Pierre from CanAmSpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the spider shop. In today's video, we're going to be doing the installation of our new accessory. It's actually an old accessory with a new twist. It's the F3 Fog Light 3-piece color match set. So these are the pieces that we're going to be doing. So as you can see, we've got the yellow circuit here, intense red. We've got the beautiful pearl white and that Oxford blue. So we're actually going to be doing the grills that surround the fog lights, left and right. But we're also doing that centerpiece. The one that you can still see a little bit when you close the front trunk. So here we go. So of course we're going to be doing these here and this is the part that we're talking about. Oh, my trunk is locked, let me open that up. This is the piece that we're talking about, this one right here. So as you're closing the lid all the time, you can always see a piece that's sticking out on each side and it's a black textured plastic and we thought it would look really cool if we went ahead and did everything color match right from that fog light grill all the way across to the other side. That's what we're going to replace in this video. So the first piece that we're going to remove for this installation is the center piece. Now nothing could be easier. You're just going to get your right hand, your left hand. You're going to go underneath the part, the piece on each side. You're just going to pull right out. Simply turn this a quarter of a turn and remove this small panel on each side. We're now going to be taking off this side panel. To be able to do that, we've got two Torque 25 right here. You got three push pins right there. And you've got right here two more. Torque 25. Go ahead and remove those, take out the panel, put that aside, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Like always, everything that we take out goes in there. I use one of two tools to be able to take out the push pin. I do have one of these tools that comes from, you know, the automotive world. It's a push pin remover. But I also have one of these little screwdrivers that looks like a crowbar that works really well. But I always carry one of these with me because as you're trying to pry one of these open, you know, you don't want to scratch your paint. So sometimes you can get that in nice and close and use it, you know, as a pivot underneath to make sure that you don't scratch anything. So get yourself a work table with uh, a towel or some styrofoam so you can work on these two pieces. You're going to need a Torx 20 screwdriver. We're going to have two screws to remove. You got one right here, the other one there. You've got a round piece right here to take out. It's right there and to remove it you have a torque 20 right there. Simply go ahead and install it on the new piece. Let's go ahead and put that back. Go 
go ahead and do the same thing for the other side and then we're ready to put it back together. As you're putting back this panel, you want to make sure that this little part here fits in that black part there. And you want to make sure that your panel, this panel here, fits over the top of that black plastic. I see a lot of people that will put it underneath it, but it actually goes over the top. And you want to keep an eye on this panel right here so it clips in to the gas tank. And once you've put everything back together, it looks like this. That was another installation video, nice and easy, short and sweet, gives you nice look for a little budget. I hope you enjoyed that, you got the project done as easy as it was in the video. My name is Pierre, you've been watching The Spider Shop, catch you later guys, bye.